Yeah, g'day guys, this is Simon from the Fox Hunting Australia website. I just recently posted a picture of uh, all my tanned fox furs on the site um, and I had a large number of requests from fellow fox hunters um, to show exactly how I tan my skins. Um, so I thought I'd make this instructional video to show you exactly how I do it step by step um, to allow you to uh, make some nice furs just like this one. It's a nice big male. Alright, um, so for me the process starts with uh, a frozen skin. Um, this has come straight out of the freezer. Um, obviously you could do it um, while the fur is fresh and just come off the animal, so if you've been out shooting that day, and in fact you'll probably find it quite a lot easier if you do it on a warm skin. Um, you could also do it, of course, if you've salted your skins as well. Um, <clears throat> firstly, uh, I'm going to have to defrost this fur. Um, and so if you're lucky enough to have an understanding girlfriend or partner like me, um, she'll let you do this in the uh, washing machine. Um, and of course, uh, you have to promise to clean up afterwards. So in this first wash, um, I'm going to use a whole lot of dishwashing li liquid um, and this is going to help to remove uh, a lot of the blood, a lot of the smell as well um, and a lot of loose dirt and leaves so it's going to um, make working on the skin a lot more pleasant later on. So uh, I'll go and defrost this and we'll get into it. Okay guys, so uh, I've washed and cleaned the fox fur. Um, this is a raw fox fur. I've washed it in the washing machine um, in warm water only. Important that you do not do it in hot water because that will cook the skin. Um, so now we're on to the uh, next step which is probably the most important step of all. Uh, we have to now strip off all the fat and the meat off the skin. Um, what you will need is uh, a nice sharp skinning knife and uh, a pair of pointy long nose pliers. Um, I like the curved ones. So uh, if you've scun your fox um, properly, you should have a short section of the belly here, which is still intact, so we need to split that up the middle. Um, the method that I use for skinning my foxes is based on a YouTube video made by a bloke called Grunge um, and uh, he does an excellent job of skinning his foxes in a very short amount of time. Uh, I'd love to make a video of skinning foxes but uh, Grunge is just simply uh, way too quick and um, to be honest he'd make me look a little bit silly if I uh, attempted to film it. So if you want to see how, um, how it's done then you should look up a YouTube video called Fox Skinning with Grunge and um, it uh, shows you in slow motion exactly all the cuts and moves that he makes to to get a fox in this kind of condition. Um, all I need to do now is just split up the middle and uh, split down the tail as well. So get going with the skinning knife I want to try and work right up the middle of the belly so you need to have a look at uh, where the dark patch of the belly is and try and split it exactly in half okay that's done now we're going to turn it around um, we're going to work on the back end okay we've got to uh, cut through the butthole not particularly pleasant but needs to be done. Just one slice and now we're going to run along the tail and split that. So you just want to work very cautiously at this stage. Start off with a short cut. And you'll notice that um, there's a dark area um, along the length of the tail on the top side and um, we're going to cut on the opposite side of that. You always want to make sure you're watching and following 
the line of that dark area. Obviously the tailbone has already been removed from this fox um, and if you follow the method of grunge you'll see just how easy that can be um, except possibly with uh, larger older male dogs who can be quite difficult to um, get the tailbone out of. So I'm just trying to slide up and split in small sections as I go. Okay, I've made a short, short error there. But that's fine, we can deal with that later. Still, still tracking along that top surface of the uh, of the tail. You can see all the sinews, which will help guide you. Now the tail will often be quite twisted at this point, so it's important to uh, just take it in short. Short cuts, short stages, otherwise you'll make a big error. As you make these cuts you'll notice that uh, pieces of fur will come off onto your knife. That's quite normal, not much you can do about it. Got to keep following that track line. Right up to the very tip. Now obviously the tip of the tail starts to get narrower and narrower and so you need to become more and more cautious or you'll completely cut the tail in half. Getting close now. All right, we're almost at the tip. It's really important. You really don't want to screw up the, the very tip of the tail, that's where you get that beautiful white splash of fur. So you certainly don't want to cut too far. So you have to be make very careful cuts to try and get to the end of that tail. And of course go no further. So that's about it. That's the very tip of the tail there and you've got that nice white splash that the foxes are well known for. Okay, so we now should have a completely open skin. So we've got the back legs, front legs, and in between we've got a whole lot of meat and fat which we have to remove from the skin. But of course we've got the head to contend with as well. So um, that's perhaps the most difficult part. As I said, this one's got a massive hole in the head, um, so I'm not going to bother too much with um, trying to remove the, the meat and fat from this animal around the head region. 
but um, nevertheless we'll make